So just a little, little background. You have two cerebral hemispheres, which means the brain has got two halves. Now, the left half of the brain has more eloquent functions than a far on the right side, and really, speech is one of those main functions. So most people are left-sided or dominant. The na nature of this tumor was that it was very close to a motor speech area, which is ver verbal or, or spoken speech, but more so, very, very close to an area that is receptive of speech. And there are very important tracks that run essentially between these two areas. And the best way to preserve function is really for the patient to tell you how they're doing. This is a procedure that we refer to as awake craniotomy, which is basically a procedure done with the patient uh, awake. Really the big part of this is having an anaesthetist that is able to keep the patient calm, provide local anesthesia in certain parts of the scalp to block everything off, and monitor this patient whilst we're doing the sur surgery. The reason for doing this awake is that during the surgery, we are then able to ask the patient uh, questions, ask them to do simple uh, arithmetic, and essentially move their right side, arm and leg. And that tells us that the area we are operating on is intact. The dilemma has often been how to monitor that function when you're operating. It doesn't help a patient to have a wonderful surgery and come out without being able to move one half of their body being paralyzed on one side, not being able to speak, not being able to recognize their loved ones. These are very important functions. It takes a lot of organizing, you better have various things in place, you better have the right scans, you better have the right team, and the key member of the team is the person who anesthetizes this patient while the patient is awake. So that was why it was here because we have the requisite equipment. The parting shot is that brain tumors are no longer a taboo. Something can be done for them and something can be done safe, safely for them. And cur currently at uh, the Nairobi Hospital, we not only have now the means to do it, but also the sort of technology from intraoperative ult ultrasound to neuro navigation, to neuro monitoring, to now being able to do awake craniotomies for these patients so that we can make their surgeries safe. So this is not only a curable disease, but we can cure it safely. Thank you.